up, shit smokers? This is Long Ashes, CrapCigar.com, and with me as always is Punch. Punch it up. And uh, a guest star from a very long time ago of one episode and, and returning, uh, uh, Gray Ashes here, we like to call him Gay Asses. What's up? <laughs> and his uh, twin brother, Gay Asses 2, no, uh, sorry, <laughs> Triple Maduro. Yeah, yeah. Gay Asses 2. And a uh, new... Uh, uh, star of the show, Bobby Butane. Right here for you. <laughs> this is uh, slightly different than our regular reviews or shows. Think of this more along the lines of our newscast if you've seen one of those before, but really it's just uh, about us camping out here and smoking some good cigars. And we'll actually review this cigar a little bit too, just to kind of give you a taste of a review. Uh, this is definitely out of our price range, this cigar is the uh, H. Upman Sun Grown uh, by Altata Cigar and it's $7 a stick for the Churchill so definitely out of our price range but it's a good cigar we've smoked quite a few of them on the trip we'll give you a little bit of information about that a little bit later and go into the review there but really this is just about us camping out here and getting getting away from the uh, crap cigar show a little bit and telling stories yeah telling some stories <laughs> Chilling Wrecking out by canoes. the, uh, the yeah. burnt out fire that you know was there. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. And uh, you know having a beer on Sunday morning. Yeah. After the camp trip is finally over with. Yeah. So. Having my fifth or sixth beer. Got a line of Cuban sunset <laughs> going on. Punch started very yeah, early. Punch is working on getting wasted again. Yeah. <laughs> He's already like on his fifth or sixth one. I'm not driving yeah. home, so it's not a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's, he's in the clear. He's good yeah. again. Yeah. He, has, he has no limit. Yeah. Yeah. He's the designated drinker. <laughs> I guess we'll start it off by telling the story about the cigar here. Um, Altata Cigars has this new... Uh, club that you could be a member of. Uh, don't ask us how you actually become a member of it. Uh, it was by circumstance that we actually got on there at uh, Cigar Fest. We were walking by the guy and he asked us if we wanted to join. And it doesn't seem to be anything on their website or anything about that. But uh, VIP member club, if you start up a hearth like this, uh, you can get a free box of cigars as long as you smoke the cigars and sen uh, send some pictures and video in and be doing that. So. Uh, Altata Cigars actually sent us a box of 24 of the uh, H. Upman Sun Grown uh, Churchills and we pretty much smoked through this entire box just in the weekend that we've been out here so uh, thanks Altata for that. Thanks. Uh, Thank you guys. What, what's your first impressions of, of the stick? Uh, I think it's very well constructed. Uh, doesn't do, does, doesn't seem like there's uh, any tears or any rips uh, in uh, the leaf or whatever. I mean, it's pretty well constructed, I think. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've already lit this up, but the smell of it before, I got kind of like a, uh, almost like a coffee yeah. nutty note to the actual yeah. smell of it. We got like a coffee cream yeah. a little bit. But uh, one, one thing we were noting, uh, when we were smoking this before, is like the first half inch of this cigar, you don't get really much of a taste. It's not there really uh, predominantly. This is definitely a, a, a more uh, medium bodied cigar. It, it's kind of in between medium and, and full, I would think, but closer to the medium side. Uh, that first half inch or, or so, you don't really get anything, but then once you start getting in there, there's Lots of flavor. Like, yeah, what, were you, what were you guys saying? Like, some of the flavors you were picking up. I had a nutmeg flavor. Nutmeg. Come on. Yeah. I had a cream. Yeah, I, I had it like I don't know from cream like five. from the first like what he said from like the first like half inch down for me anyway. I had like uh, it was somewhat of a, a consistent flow of like of a cream taste like pretty much throughout the whole cigar. Some spices uh, here and there, maybe some like like. It's, it's, it's a really mellow smoke. I mean, there's really not strong of pretty much anything. There's a lot of flavor in it, and it's, I think mean, it's overall some really good smoke. Yeah, I'm not getting much of uh, a whole lot of flavor right now, but that's because we're just yeah. in, the, in the very beginning. The flavor kicks, tends to kick in a little bit later in this one, but yeah. uh, it's a lot of cream right now, and I remember picking up some yeah. cedar and, and later on in the cream. Not a lot of spice, not like a lot of pepper, but just real mild, smooth smoke. Yeah. I'm picking up some cream right now, and, um, 
sometimes uh, I pick up some cedar and uh, I might pick up uh, some spice here later on, but probably in the middle of the cigar. It's uh, well constructed, uh, my eggs burning evenly. Um, I really like this cigar. There's, uh, there's pretty much a. Well, what about that. you there, Bobby Butane? I don't really have anything negative to say about it. <laughs> um, it's like Bobby Butane. I don't know how many of these I've smoked so far on our trip, but this is the first one I've actually had a tight draw on. I don't know if That's I. Nice. Yeah, I don't know if I might need to clip it some more, but um, all the ones I've smoked previously, it had a great draw. Yeah. And like they had mentioned, you know, you're not getting a whole lot of flavor through the first half inch to an inch. But once you get past that, man, it, it you definitely get the flavor, and it's it varies throughout. Um, I definitely get a, the hint of cream, and I was picking up nutmeg on uh, the sticks I'd smoked prior, so I'm looking forward to getting that again because that was a very good flavor to me. And uh, all around, I, I definitely think this is a great stick. Very good smoke, very mellow. Um, it, it burns really well, and. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's a good looking stick. I mean, it's it's not you know it's not hard on the eyes. Uh, the leaves look good. It's got good color. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll go into details about uh, the cigar itself a little bit more later, and we kind of gave you almost a full review there. But we'll, we'll talk about what we're actually tasting now too a little bit later, and then go into some of the uh, uh, adventures that we went on. Over this weekend. Over this weekend with the camping, some of the craziness that happened. But, you mean misadventures? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like misadventures. But, <laughs> but we're on location yeah. at what? Uh, what is this? Blue River. Uh, Blue, Blue River, 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 Indiana. River, Indiana. Corydon, Indiana. Yeah, Corydon, Indiana. All right, we'll be back in a second. All right. Hey, what's up? We're back, and uh, we're just chilling out here at the campsite. We're about ready to pack up and leave. Uh, pretty interesting stuff happened to us this weekend. Uh, some of it funny, some of it sad, some of it tragic. Uh, a few romances mm -hmm. have been created during the weekend. <laughs> it's, it's definitely been interesting. <laughs> definitely <laughs> has been interesting. It's been a trip. This is what happens yeah. in the woods. <laughs> Don't judge us. What happens in the woods <laughs> stays <laughs> in the woods. Yeah. This shit's for real. <laughs> Don't sleep in a tent with like four other guys. It's yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. We'll just stop right there. <laughs> End of the review. Enough We're so. done. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't want to get into the gory details. Gory. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we, we don't, we don't want our, our viewers to like turn it off some, just yet. There was some skin cutting. <laughs> some gouging. Some bruising. No, but uh, real, real quick, we'll talk about the cigar a little bit here some more, and then we'll start talking about the camp. Uh, I was reading up online about it. Uh, $7 a stick. Uh, it's an Ecuadorian sun-grown wrapper with uh, Nicaraguan and Honduran uh, Cuban seed filler with a uh, dark broadleaf binder. So a pretty interesting combo there of a, of a mixture of the spice with that broadleaf yeah. and uh, Honduras. I, I like Honduran and Nicaraguan tobacco together. Yeah, it's a good, good combo. Yeah, but, uh, pretty good so far. Uh, same stuff we were talking about before, clean and all that good stuff. So Yeah, we're about down to where we're getting all the flavor in now. Yeah, oh, yeah, starting, yeah the flavor's starting to kick in now. We're tasting a lot of cream right now. And a little bit of cedar. Yep. Eric was tasting a lot of cream last night. <laughs> tea pack, didn't you? Yeah, they don't call them gay asses for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Alright, you take <laughs> Alright, so, you know, we came out for a guy's camping trip, a little fishing, a little canoeing. Uh, drinking. You know, a lot of drinking. Smoking a lot of cigars. <laughs> cigars, obviously. Yep. Yeah, a couple things happened to us. Uh, the first one, we, we were talking a little loud, but really not too loud. And I guess it's like lights out here at 11 o'clock at night. And there's some uh, families around and so forth. It might have been a little weird. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we were, were definitely lewd. Yeah, 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 just a little bit. It was the first night on <laughs> get, Friday night. You get five night. guys together, yeah. you know, you, so, your conversation kind of turns a little crazy. Yeah, we're definitely yeah. not talking about tea and crumpets. Especially when you get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit, and our voices get really loud. And, but, uh, yeah, we, we, we got a warning. 
Uh, they actually had the police come out here and written warning. try to stop the crap cigar party. From <laughs> yeah. and, and what's funny so is that we were myself here. I said, "Damn the man!" Damn the man! Stomped on his foot. Yeah. I beat him in the balls. I took his gun. I said, "Get the fuck out of here right now!" No, I didn't do that. This actually happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been, been awesome. Though. That, that yeah, would have been much been. more interesting than us just taking the warning ticket and saying, "Okay, officer, bend over." And we should have just yeah. said, <laughs> "You want a warning? I'll give you a warning. Bend the fuck over, bitch." <laughs> Here's your warning. Yeah, the canoe trip was definitely interesting. Uh, that, that shit was fucked from like Jump Street. Yeah, right from ten the minutes in. I do. Want to <laughs> I wouldn't even say ten minutes in. <laughs> we, we we get in our canoes and we launch and we we maybe go fifty well, yards. Well, well, no, no, before before we do that, I, I want to give uh, uh, props to uh, the owner to the canoe company who actually. What's his name? Uh, he probably, us, uh, his Douglas. name was uh, Douglas. Douglas. Douglas, yeah. And, uh, Green Earth. Yeah, uh, Green, Green Earth, Earth something. Outdoors. Green Earth Outdoors. Yeah. 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 Great, and, great uh, company. We want to thank Green Earth Outdoors. Uh, they were really nice. And we'll, we'll get to why we really appreciate them. Yeah, later this on dude the rescued story. us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. a rescue mission involved. Yeah, rescue yeah. mission. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll have to wait for that until the end. So. Yeah. <laughs> No, but, uh, yeah, we, we got on the canoe, and, you know, we had our fishing poles and all of our gear, and it started to pour on us as we were signing all the release forms and so forth. So, you know, even if we wanted to read, like, what we were actually signing away, we fucking couldn't because the ink was running away. But, uh, you know, we signed that. We got down in the canoes and kind of set off. And not only, like, five, ten minutes in the freaking get it on the river, uh, Bobby Butane and Triple Maduro over here in a canoe, and they fucking tip over <laughs> on the uh, the white ra- the white water rapids that were happening. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're vicious. Let me let, let me say yeah. this, uh, Maduro over here. It was his first time canoeing, and he did a good job. You know, uh, he wasn't scared or anything when we tipped, and um, it, it was it was really crazy how it happened because you know we we dumped over and. You know, our canoe's upside down, it's filling with water, and and we're just gone. We're caught in a current, and the canoe's shot way down ahead of us, and these yuppies over here are already halfway down the, the river, and yuppies. we're all laughing and stuff because it's all funny, you know? And it, and it was. When we first dumped it, was, it was I just hilarious. Keep I was There's no yuppie in me. <laughs> But, you know, we, we get going down the current trying to catch up with them, and we're kind of, you know, floating with our life vests on our backs. And, you know, we're, there's it's a river, so there's tons of rocks in there, and we're bouncing on these rocks and hitting these rocks. And, you know, I come up to a rock, and it, it cracks me right square in the, in the nuts, you know. And that, that, that kind of was my sour point of the uh, start of the canoe trip. But, when, you know, when we got down, we got our canoe back up, we realized that we'd lost everything we had in there. I lost two of my fishing poles. I lost all my tackle and yeah, it was, my fishing it was, it was funny at first. When yeah, first it was definitely it, funny at first. I also <laughs> lost some beer. It was, it was and funny, then, though. you know, when I thought about the beer being lost, that's when I that's started That's when he started uh, crying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He started crying when he found the beer was gone. But, luckily, when uh, Maduro and Butane was floating on by, I saw a keystone floating in the water. Yeah. So I picked it up and popped that fucker open. It's he salvaged drinking. one of them. <laughs> yeah, if you guys ever make a trip up here to, to Blue River uh, and you go out on the on the water in your canoes, uh, you see any keystones floating around in there that ain't open, those are from us. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, you're you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think they should return them, man. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get our addresses on here. So I, mean, I want my I want my stones back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know after that we. Uh, found a, a little area with a lot of catfish, and I was able to catch one. We got a lot of bites, but we weren't able to catch any others. But it was a pretty decent size. Yeah, and he named her Lucy. I had two yeah. great Lucy. bites. Two great bites. Yeah, we actually tied the, uh, the catfish Just set the hook. along the boat and uh, let her swim with us, and you know, we made a little friend. Yeah. That, poor, yeah. that poor girl had a ride. Yeah, she, <laughs> she, she, long, she, she was part of the crap, ride. crap cigar crew. And not only did yeah. these two flip over once, but they flipped over twice. Mm-hmm. 
And me and Nubs over here, or uh, uh, Punch. Sorry, Punch. punch. Get it right Jesus. there. Uh, I don't know. I just, Nubs isn't even I'll here. Just yeah. Yeah. Nubs. No, Nubs but, uh, is absent. His pussy ass wouldn't come <laughs> because he was scared. He was scared of the water. Yeah. That's a yeah, Nubs story was scared of the together. water. He wouldn't come. So. <laughs> but uh, if, if Nubs did come, he, he wouldn't have survived <laughs> the water. That's for yeah. sure. Not at all. Afraid of the water. I'm gonna put that at the bottom of the screen there. Nubs is afraid of the water. So me and Punch were sitting there, you know, and and. We're, we're rolling, you know, and all of a sudden we just go down like these small rapids or whatever, and it just smacks up its, uh, it smacks us against like this big old log from a tree that fell. No, yeah, hold on, let me let me get to that first. Uh, yeah, we were in the lead. Yeah, we were yeah, we were yeah, in the they, lead they at, were at this, point, this point, and we're going down, and we see these rapids coming in. We're going around a bend, and there's this huge ass tree that's falling into the water. And there was a, a canoe that was already there that's trapped under this tree, and it's all bent in from the from the current. Yeah, it's pretty it's, much it's a V. Too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This canoe is made out of metal, and it's already trapped. And, and we had fiberglass canoes. When we saw that, we were thinking. Yeah, oh, we, yeah. we we started going. Yeah. We uh, we started heading down there, and me and uh, Murdura over here, we we yell back. And we're like, guys, you gotta see this. And then the next thing we know, we're getting pulled in with the current, and we 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 slap into that tree and. You know, our, our yeah. canoe started to tip and it started to fill with water, so we bail out. Yeah. And then we grab the canoe and save it so it doesn't flip, so we don't lose all our gear again. And we start pulling it over to the side. Murderer is flying down the river because the current caught him. Yeah, it just took me all the way down. I and was then bouncing I, off of rocks. And then I'm pulling the canoe up onto the, the little rock island they got there, and then uh, old Gray Ashes and Punch come flying. <laughs> Flying down this current stream, man, and they just smack into that tree, and it was just—it was scary right there. Yeah, at that it took. Point. It, took it, it was. It was done at that point. Literally yeah. flipped our whole canoe sideways. Me and him went in the water. My leg got trapped underneath the boat with the log, and it was pulling me into like the into, into the current. While Punch over here was, was trying to pull out the boat, and my leg was trapped underneath there, and he didn't know it. I didn't realize it. Yeah. <laughs> It, it, was, it was definitely what? scary because if, I mean, yeah, if either one of them would have got trapped under there, I mean, yeah. that log was so big and so heavy. It, it, and the current right there was really was super strong. strong. Too. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, it was. I mean, it took us what? It, just, it, it bent that. What, how long do you think that that metal canoe was? Like 12 foot long at least? Yeah, it, it, it bent in it, half it pretty the whole much. Thing, it just bent like into a V. I mean, yeah, yeah from the current. That's all starting to current. But our, our canoe started got under that log and started to get bent. And we had a bitch of a time getting that out of there. It, it, it took, it took all, every one of us. It took all five of us like what, thirty minutes? Oh yeah, oh yeah, at least, at least thirty minutes to get that canoe That's out. That's how strong the current was. Yep. When I when I saw you guys uh, in distress and and all the stuff that uh, fell out, I knew I had to use my expert canoeing skills to, <laughs> to bypass the, the rapids and not get turned over. Hold on. Expert go, canoeing go experience. Down, yeah. He was in a one man canoe. He was in a one man canoe. canoe. He one had it canoe. easy. For the eight or what? Eight to eight and a half hours we were out there on the, uh, in the river. He had it easy. <laughs> and I never tipped once. <laughs> oh, wow. I would have tipped once in a one man canoe either. Shit. I'd like you to. You don't know that. That's true. <laughs> But I've got canoeing but experience. Hey, I, so. I got down the river while those guys were like stuck under logs under the water, and I saved the chicken liver. So that, you know, that's what really Save the bait. Yeah. That yeah. Was, was our it bait your first time canoeing? Yeah. It is what well, my first time canoeing as well. Yes. And uh, I, I've I've had some experience before too in canoeing. So just like Maduro over here, you know, Butan was trying to teach him how to paddle while I was trying to show Punch over here and yep. tell him what to do. So overall, we did a. Butane had to grab another beer. A pretty good job, I guess. But <laughs> well, another thing is that right. when we got out of those rapids and everything, we started to. Yeah, I'd know. like to say that that was the worst part of it, yeah. but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get, that is not. <laughs> the well, worst. We, start, yeah. we start rowing down. We start following the directions on the map that um, that uh, that was provided Douglas. to us. That was provided yeah. to Douglas. Douglas. Yeah, Douglas. 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 And, and, uh, and we hit, ended up hitting a dead yeah. end. Yeah, we ended up hitting, hitting this huge dam. Yeah. Yep, that was, that was created by flash floods that happened over you know all this rain that we've been getting you know what in the month of April or whatever right. March and yeah. April. And yeah, we had about two hours before we were supposed to bring the canoes back. Yeah, we were supposed and to meet up with him at, at that Iron Bridge, right? Yeah. Which was just past this this dam, this log jam. So we rode about almost six miles. 
Yeah. And then we had to only to have to fucking turn around and, yeah. go and back try to go upstream, upstream. paddle, paddle upstream, upstream for another rapids. two miles. We had to paddle yeah, for another two miles. So Which, the rapids we just went through, for about two flipping miles. over, is the same ones we had to you know go back up through. Right. So. Which paddling upstream is a fucking bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Half the time we had to actually jump out of the canoe and just walk the thing. Up. Yeah, cause, yep. and that was water, hard enough in itself too. Water up, uh, water yeah. up to our hips and stuff, you know, just with the current being so strong. Trying and to pull a, a, a what a sixteen foot canoe boat. Well, I, right. I had to save the cigars, man. Yeah, that's all, all I was yeah. thinking about. Really, Heck yeah, yeah. And, and we got to a point where we realized we're not going to be able to make it all the way back upstream. Yeah. yeah. So we had to come up with a little bit of a plan B. And luck- we- luckily, there was a road right next to the river where we were at. The only problem was getting up that getting up to the canoes. road because there was a really steep hill with slip, slick, slick mud. Like super slick mud. Right. You can't get you can't get any you, kind you of grip on this. You put one foot in, you're falling. That's all there is about it. So. So we we had to call the uh, right. Douglas. Yeah. To come fucking rescue us. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Which was a, a pretty good rescue mission. I mean, yeah, we, it we, was. we did a good we, job. We, we, I was impressed with that. I and really it, was. And another thing is that uh, Butane here, his phone uh, didn't work because his battery died. Yep, yep. Yeah, my phone much, got ruined because water all got into it. Yeah, yeah mine, mine was dead from Jump Street because it was charged. I had 11% yeah, battery yeah. life left. And Not to mention poor signal strength yeah. throughout. Right. Yeah, <laughs> signal yeah. strength. It was We're rough. down on a river going upstream in the middle of the wilderness with only about an hour left or so of our canoe time, and it's starting to get to the point where it's probably going to get dark soon, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're, so we we're, were, all, uh, we're all hungry. We, we were feeling yeah. a little like we're a... Hungry, we're hungry, dehydrated. Uh, dehydrated, uh, lost all our water. We actually started yeah. making yeah. thoughts most of our beer. about actually <laughs> yeah. I felt like building we were a shelter the, and stuff. We're like, okay, that's it. We're staying here. I felt for like we were on like Man vs. Wild or like this was like Rescue 911. Yeah, it was... Yeah, it was messed up. We All I knew is I was getting off that fucking river, and we were, we were getting the fuck out of there one way or another. You know? Right. Oh, that one spot we, we pulled over, too. Yeah, it we was, like, meet. all sewage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we, we, we took one foot out of the canoe, and our sunk foot into actually sunk in our calves. Uh, up, up to our calves, close to our knees. And me and Punch, I mean, just, we uh, we pulled off on another spot, and shit. We, we jumped out and climbed yeah. up a slick-ass hill. <laughs> and, Fucking got to where we could thought we could see the road, but it wasn't there. <laughs> all, all we see, all we see, were trees for as far as we could see, and there was no way we we're gonna carry the canoes through that, let alone get the canoes up that embankment. So we had to slide back down. Well, I slid back down. I actually I, I fell oh, back I did down. Too. Yeah, <laughs> he, he he made it back down without falling, but that's when we got back in the canoes and went for uh, option C, which was the rescue mission, because. Yeah. Our, la- our last resort was 911 before the batteries died. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. We weren't messing around. We, yeah. we were really. We were about uh, there. We were about there. We were about to call 911. It was really close. So. Yeah. Yeah. We were we were stuck like Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was bad. Yeah. And then I, Douglas comes to our rescue. Yep. Tell him about calling him. He's up on the ledge. Yeah. yeah he's <laughs> not there. I called him. Like, I called him on there, and uh, you know, I, I I was like, "Did you get our last message? We just left a voicemail. We couldn't get a hold of you." And he's like. Uh, yeah, and I was like, are you going to come out here? And he's like, look up. And I look up, and there he is Just on, right across on a fucking the way. Uh, hill from a distance. like way Across the river, yeah. <laughs> <in the distance. laughs> I'm right here looking at you. And I'm like, what the? Fuck? I got I got to say, when I saw him, I was fucking relieved. Yeah, I thought it was. I'm like, we're well, almost cute. out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's going to make sure he gets his yeah. canoes, and he ain't going to get his canoes without us. Right. So we're getting the fuck out of yeah, here. Well, actually, you yeah. know what I was thinking at first was, uh, I'm like, because he said, put the paddles and all the life preservers like inside the canoes and take your stuff out. I'm like, is he going to fucking leave us down here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he said at first. Are you serious? Yeah, give, like, me my, give me my canoes. Like, Go fuck we're yourself. Gonna <laughs> we're going to get out of there. Our asses down here. <laughs> Dad, he had that's a lot of rip. I pulled his ass down that hill. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Hey, we, hey, we, <laughs> we, 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 can't, we can't talk negative about this guy. No, no absolutely not. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Because he, he, he was really a stand-up guy. guy. Yeah, he man. really was. He was really nice to us in the end. Yeah, that was just what I was thinking. They actually yeah, turned out to be yeah. a really cool guy. Yeah. And, and, and what was really cool was after, you know, we got the canoes straightened out and 
got the ropes tied and got them pulled up. And we helped him put the boats on us. Yeah, he, he yeah we, we had to tie ropes to the canoes and drag them up this slippery fucking yeah, hill was, and, and then climb up the hill ourselves. Yeah, and, it, it was it was definitely an experience that we'll probably never forget. Yeah. But I, I got I to gotta give props to dude because not only did he come to our rescue, he came to our rescue and gave us water and, and beer. beer. Ice cold water Ice and beer. cold water Ice cold water and beer. He's like, yeah, I got beer and water in the truck. Are you fucking kidding Are me? You <laughs> <laughs> We're dying here, <laughs> man. He's like, what do you want? Water or beer? Let's see. I could be dehydrated for all day. I'll, I'll take, take a, a drink of water, water and a beer. And a beer. And a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's basically what we did. And, you know, we, we drank a little bit with him. And then all five of us, including him, make six. We piled into uh, his, what was that, a uh, Chevy Blazer? Something uh, like that, yeah. Chevy Blazer, Blazer and... Uh, like that. The quarters were definitely very tight. Yeah, yeah yes, they we were. Had six people, <laughs> six <laughs> people in a five seater. So yeah, and we're all pretty big dudes. So yeah. I mean, and unfortunately, I just had to share a front seat with gay ass. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I literally get that name for nothing. stretch myself <laughs> you can, between the two front seats of the vehicle. The fear rest on my knee. My yeah, I was on Butane's knee. My his knee was on my back and. He was actually helping me support my back. Well, you had you had actually asked him that oh, as a uh, preference. You oh, wanted yeah. his knee yeah. touching you. No, I asked him if it was hurting. I was like, "How's my knee feel there, Earth?" <laughs> Whatever, man. He, he actually wanted his knee like a little lower, like towards his ass area. <laughs> yeah. 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 He didn't work out that way. <laughs> he wanted to get that <laughs> protruding feeling in his hand cavity. But you know, we'll, we'll get to that a little later. Yeah, those as well. bumps were. Oh god. <laughs> But yeah, it was definitely the canoe trip was definitely a fun experience. Yeah. It was it was fun up until the point that we that we hit the dam and we had to kind of turn around and go upstream. Yeah, and, now that and, that and then it, right and then it just sucked. became it, it, it turned into panic mode at that yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And unfortunately, uh, and, and Maduro and pretty much lost all of his fishing gear. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, I lost that. one pole. Lost, I got one right. pole. We lost yeah. a lot of fishing gear. Lost yeah. a lot of beer. I lost everything. Yeah, so, I lost a lot of tackle. Yep. Only caught one fish in the entire fucking trip, but yeah. Yeah. hey, we caught something. It was tasty, yeah. though. And we ate it. We didn't get skunked. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was good. And it was really yeah, good. Yeah, we grilled yeah, it, it up with some mustard. It was really nice yeah, thick shit. fillets, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a lot of good food on this trip. Yeah, yeah, we, a, lot yeah we had a lot food. of good cigars. A lot of good cigars. Yeah, yeah. a lot of good cigars. Thanks again, Altatus, for uh, providing these. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Really appreciate yeah, it. Really good cigar. Talk about the cigar a little bit here before. We yeah, let's, let's get yeah. back to the, yeah. to the what's, smoke what's going here. on with it now. Uh, you know what? I, I, I'm on you with the tight draw. Like this. Yeah. The other ones yeah. I had were great, but yeah, the, I'm having a tight the, draw. As well. The tight. I don't know. Maybe it's it's because it's been sitting out for a couple of days. Could be. But yeah, I had a uh, humida pack in it, uh, but you know it could have dried out. Over the weekend, it's kind of hot. Stuff. Overall, yeah. I'm still tasting a lot, like a, a still cream throughout. Yeah, yeah definitely uh, getting the cream. Maybe, maybe, cream maybe and like cedar a hard for me. I'm actually getting cedar. almost a uh, leathery taste now too. Uh, a little bit of leather. Yeah, yeah. The, the, I think all those flavors kind of go hand in hand, like the the, the, the cedar, earth, leather. Yeah, like, I mean they all blend together. Yeah, right. I mean you yeah. can taste. It's a very complex. You can pretty color. much taste everyone individually, pretty much. I mean it's. Yeah, they've all got their distinct flavor. And yeah. And it definitely fills your, you know, your palate up, and you get it all. Yeah, overall, just, it's, a, it's a really good smoke. Yeah, it is a good smoke. It's a very good smoke. Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, that's about it. You know, good cigar. Uh, good friends. Mm -hmm. Good friends. Good Hanging brews. Out. Crazy it's been canoes. a while since we all been together like Crazy this. Crazy canoes. Out. Raging river. Yep. Raging uh, drunks. <laughs> <laughs> Raging drunks. We lost cops. A lot of beers. Raging alcoholics. Beer. All right, well, that's about it. Uh, this was the... Uh, Slightly different episode than normal. Uh, hope, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, maybe we bored you to tears, or <laughs> maybe you laughed your ass off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but either way, enjoy a good cigar, drink you a nice cold beer, and, yeah. uh, and have, good yep. have good times. Yep. I bet you some people who camp out a lot of times always have stories to tell. So yeah, there's um, always a story. There's always a story. Well, hey, if there's no story, then you didn't have a good time. That's exactly. right. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. If you ain't got nothing to talk about when you're leaving, then you didn't that, enjoy That's yourself. fucking life. Life is a series of stories. That's right. That's right. <laughs> or crappy cigars. <laughs> <laughs> that's a story. <laughs> All right, this is uh, Long Ashes, Punch, Gay Asses, Triple Maduro, and Bobby Butane. Yeah, we smoked the shit. So, so you don't have, have to. to. <laughs> <laughs>